G'day YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel. This is another Shinpaku Juniper. Now if you were watching my previous video on, on Shinpaku Junipers, you know this is the tree I was going to talk about next. It is another successful LA taken from last year. Um, it's ready to be styled on because I'll just show you what the roots look like. It's, look at that, in one year. It's phenomenal, like it's full. It's pretty, pretty awesome and that's why LA I think is absolutely wonderful um, to create trees. Now, this tree is really good because it has multiple, <laughs> it's done really well because it has multiple, um, multiple trunks. Now, sometimes that's good and sometimes it's bad. Not bad, but it proves a challenge. So I've got a really thick main trunk here. I've got a little one here. And then I've got another couple of nice big trunks over this side, at least two that are flowing this way. These are flowing over this way. And this is a nice big tall one over this way. Now, what do I do? I was looking at this tree and I was like, those two trunks are kind of the same size. It's going to be very difficult to work with both of them. Um, now, I was thinking about splitting. This is where the idea came from. I was thinking about splitting these main two trunks. Now, I was playing around with the tree and I felt I just started to pull it. And it kind of started to pull apart on it by its own. So I'm not sure if actually it's a kind of split already, which is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I think if that works, I'm going to actually split this tree into two um, and then I will have a perfect little look at that, perfect little twin kind of trunk tree that I can work with and a perfect little kind of semi-cascade tree that I can work with. So sometimes you need to look at, you know, all possible op ideas and opportunities and try and think the best, the best answer to, for this tree is to try and split those trunks. Now, I'm a bit iffy about doing it this time of year. If I don't, if I don't touch the roots, then I should be okay. But I'm like, hmm, should I be cautious? Should I not? So I'm weighing up the idea. I do feel like these trees are kind of already split, which is great. Very unusual. I must have split it by accident or something when I was working with this tree um, before I was air laying it, something like that. I'm trying to think well, how it happened, but I don't know exactly. The other thing you can do is actually, what I'm gonna do is work with what I think I will do, <laughs> I haven't decided 100% yet what I'll do, um, is I will work with the two trees separately. Like, does that make sense? So I will work on this tree as it, if it was split up and I'll work on this tree as if it was gonna be split. So my ultimate goal is to split these two trunks. Now, if I had realized this maybe last month, um, it is now October, early October, and I really don't wanna do that kind of work on it. The other reason is, that's all nice white growth, white root growth. So it's really pushing along root, root growth already. So I don't want to hinder it this year. Um, what I might actually do is put a wedge in there and split it even further. Like I'll actually make the split. Now by doing that, at least then next year I'll try and comb the roots out and the foliage will, I mean the roots, where, where, the, where I've split it in there, where those roots are, it will like, we'll separate those and then I'll be able to pull that tree apart there and I'll pull this tree apart here. So so by putting a wedge in there now and try and split it totally, I think I might be able to um, succeed better. So that's what I'm probably gonna do. But I'm gonna go away and think about it, not, not in front of the camera, but let's, um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll see what I come up with. And I might have, I'll show you what I do um, when I do it. But um, let me think about it, I'll be back soon. So. I'll just show you what I decided to do. I just took it out just for just for to play around with. And all I did was shove my thumb in there and I was able to pretty much split the tree <laughs> perfectly. So I might have actually done that work already, but I, I'm gonna leave it there. So my thumb is deeply into this. See, most of my thumbs disappeared. And it's actually, I can actually feel the, the past the, the whole trunk and into the soil, into the roots. So, I don't, but you look at this, it's very solid, so I don't want to be pulling that apart at this time of year. So I'm going to have to grow this another year, um, but next year I will split it up. Now I'm just going to get some sort of wedge and put it in between. I've just got usually some nice thick pine bark in the garden. So I'll just get a nice big chunk of pine bark from the garden, and I'm just going to put that in there to keep that split. I was tempted. I don't want to pull it apart. It's just they, the roots seem too intertwined to, to do anything with. So, I'm going to put it back in here. I'm 
might even actually get. I think you might might get a slightly bigger pot too. All right, I'll come back in a second. All right. <coughs> so, I think um, I'm reasonably happy. I put it in a slightly larger pot. Um, just pretty much pulled it out and put it in this pot. Pretty much and put the put the soil around it. Now, like you can see now, I've got a potential twinch uh, semi cascade tree in here, something like that. Um, maybe, maybe. That's good. But I've got a nice little twin trunk shimpaku, I think, in here, which um, nice little nice tree as well. But probably just all I'm going to do now is get some wire on it, um, get us twisted up and bent around. Um, really didn't touch the roots. We saw that. It was just splitting those, that tree in half. Um, and um, doing that, that's it really, just splitting that tree in half and we got it sorted. So it's been pretty good. I think I was pretty happy with that um, result. So I'm just going to clean this tree up, put some wire on it, um, clean out the dead bits and we'll see what results we can come up with. So you've probably seen me wire these trees before so I'll wire this one up and I'll twist it up. I'll wire it up and then I'll come back and guys and show you how to twist it up and then I'll wire this tree up and we'll twist it up and you can, you'll see the two trees um, come to come to come to some sort of um, interesting idea. So this is the first time I actually ever split a tree in half like that. It just worked out really well. I was not expecting having a perfect opportunity to split it in the middle. So I think it's going to be good because there's no now there'll be two separate trees on their two separate root bases so that's the only thing that's a good thing the only tricky bit is next year it's splitting that up from the roots but that's just normal repotting take our time wash them out split them up i've done it yeah done that heaps of times before repotting no problems there so <clears throat> let me go away and come up with a couple of designs why this why this up bend it in place why this up bend it in place and let's see what it looks like okay all right, so I've come back and I've wired up pretty much most of the main branches, as you can see. This is these, um, this will be the twin on this side. Um, you just probably kind of fall over a little bit. Didn't even notice that. We have to push some more soil in. One's watered in five, but that'll be the twin eventually. And this will be, I'm not sure if this will be a cascade, but at the moment it looks like that. So now it's a matter of just twisting up the trees. So let's start, so let's start with the cascade one, or this side one. But um, just take the main ones and try and get some movement into them. I'm trying to compact it as well. So I've made a nice bend in it and hopefully I can bend it down in the future as well. Thank you. I've got these small sub branches that I'll do the same thing with. Put nice twists in them. Oops, I can finish that one off. <clears throat> so it's all a matter of contorting as much as you can at the start. Get stuff that's like if that's going to be cascade, let's make it a slowly moving into a cascade then let's build all the branches around it so we've got different layers we're going to try and build um, it's very flexible you can see how flexible these trees it's pretty awesome in that sense like shimpaku junipers are well all junipers pretty much in general like, I find they're very, very flexible. Well, I work with mainly shit back so at the moment, I'll just turn this around. You can nice see a nice little tree in there already. So that's possibly the tree, I and mean, this could be mm, probably not even needed. I think I could even lay that top bit off, but this could actually form the little cascade that I'm talking about, a little mini church tree in here rather than this, because this is quite straight. So I might actually just, I don't think that would ever work with the, um, with this, this look so I'm gonna just try and put some interesting bends to it and then um, leave it I might actually air lay that off because I don't think that will be I don't think that will bend itself well to the cascade because it's too big it's too out of the way it's too out of proportion so I'm just gonna put some nice kinks into it and we'll air lay that off 
make sure. Really well done. We'll create this tree in here. There's a nice little tree in here. See that? This will be the air laid off. So there's another tree created. I'll just put a nice big bend in it. So, so next year I can air lay that off somewhere around in, down here. Have this nice tree air laid off. This tree in here. Now let's work on this guy. I do like the thought of this as a nice twin trunk. But you never know. Might, might be, might not. Might air lay stuff off again. So I've got to imagine it kind of more straighter, I guess. So this one isn't going to be as tight and contorted as the others that I've got. I think this will be a more nice, interesting, taller, slender twin trunk. A nice kind of you know, interesting twin trunk rather than a really twisted up one, I think, at the moment. But still want to contort all the branches nice and close because we want to start to build nice tight curves we don't want really foliage all the way on the tips and out right at the uh, right at the tips so we're just going to contort some of these branches creating all the different layers we need so I've shrunk in the tree quite a bit so I brought this down as well. I haven't wired all these fine ones yet. We just leave them there a bit too fine. Okay, now let's see how we do with this tree. Be creative, be imaginative. Don't not every branch is here to keep them, so so if that's up there, this will probably be around here. Now I've got some big heavy branches on this when we wire on this one, so I can really crank it. I wanted to crank it forward, I think. Now you can create an apex just by simply, at this stage, simply twisting it on itself and then kind of. It's nothing fancy, but we've got some branching happening. We've got too much branching in this tree. Mm. It's very, very rough. But you can probably just see two trees. A little bit of a little bit of a tall tree. This probably has got too much branching in here. But the kind of a tree in there. And a little sub tree in here. Nothing fancy, as I said. It's quite straightforward, quite simple at this stage, um, initial styling. So we haven't got, you know, it's just roughly placing some branches in place. Then we'll split the tree up next year, let this grow on, let's split the trees up, and then we'll work on the next phase. But set some of your main branches in place, um, let some others grow on, um, and then we can create something. But this is a nice, I think this would be even a really much nicer tree. Nice little small one in there, nice one over here, nice, nice to be air laid off, and then a twin trunk in here when we split it up. Alright, so there you go, something a bit more different today, in the sense that we're going to split the tree in half. Um, that was an air layer, split it in half, create two trees, actually three here if you air layer this section off and create a little small one in here. But it's all interesting and fun, it's always interesting what you find in the garden after you've done air layer. Um, but I'll leave it there for now. I have a very rough styling of this. Put some branches in place. I know there's too much foliage in here, so I might have to just try and figure out ways. Maybe cut one off. We'll just leave them, grow them on, let the tree get healthy and fill it out. And we might redesign that twin trunk. But at least we've got the twin trunk structure set up. We've got the structure of this little tree set up, and this one will be a late. So set the structure now, grow it on, and then we'll build the tree further and further. So. Alright guys, hope you saw, enjoyed that video, hope you got some interesting um, little tidbits out of it and we'll see you next time. Take care, bye.